Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 17th of January, 2019. You know, if you watch some of my earlier videos, I spoke about the Murray Building, the Oklahoma City bombing, and I said that uh, Timothy McVeigh was a patsy. Yeah, he was uh, involved. He thought that uh, he was planning to attack the building. He had his reasons. He blamed, or what was said he blamed, the reason that he did it is what uh, happened with uh, Waco, the Brent Davidian bombing by our government. But that rented truck that he had, filled with fertilizer and uh, diesel fuel, didn't cause the damage that you can see and the attached links. What I have said in previous videos as well, and you're going to hear news reporters talk about it, there were three bombs. Two had not detonated yet. One did detonate. And if you take a look at the destruction it was blown out because the bombs were inside the building. What you're going to hear from the news reporters is that the two bombs that were found were much larger than the ones that detonated. They had anticipated totally leveling that entire building. All right, Gabe, so why did they bomb that building? Well, the same reason that they took down building number seven. Building number seven at the Twin Towers contained documents on the investigations that were being conducted. And the powers to be wanted those documents to disappear. Enron, remember? Enron? Well, the building number seven also functioned as the second CIA. And interestingly enough, most of the people, if not all the people, weren't in the building when it came down, unlike the Twin Towers. You can't deny the facts. Now, what's been said is that the Murrah building also contained Whitewater documents, investigation of the Clintons. You know who was involved in that investigation of Clintons back then? James Comey. Don't you find that interesting? Huh? You see how the garbage keeps getting recycled? Hmm? What has to happen is there has to be another grand jury. And they need to look at the startling evidence. And they're going to come to the same conclusions that I've come to, that many of you have come to. The Murray Building was taken down by our government. No different than the Twin Towers were taken down by our government. And if that grand jury is ever assembled and they look at the evidence, those 57 articles of evidence, a lot of people are going to have a lot of explaining to do. Right, George? Hmm? Right, Donald Rumsfeld? Right, Condoleezza Rice? Right, Dick Cheney? Just to mention a few. Folks, aren't you tired of being lied to? I sure as hell am. And you know, they're going to take down, or what's been reported, they're going to take down the Internet. Because the Internet allowed so many of us to learn the truth about how corrupt this government is 
and has been for a very, very long time. Look up the McCallum Memo, M-C-C-A-L-L-U-M Memo. You'll learn why we went into the Second World War. Go do a search in the Gulf of Tonkin. You'll learn why we went into an 18-year war in Vietnam. And 9-11 couldn't be more obvious. You can't make this stuff up, folks. Look at the photographs. Listen to what's said. And demand a grand jury investigation. Again, Timothy McVeigh was guilty. But he wasn't alone. This was another one of those operations. I wonder what kind of name they gave to it, because all of their operations have names, don't they? You want to repost this in your social media accounts, you want to pass along to your like-minded friends. You might want to send a copy to President Trump. Ask him to get involved in putting together a grand jury. The American people need to learn the truth. That's sort of what I think. Thanks for listening. Check out the links.